that was a long flight. Hello, welcome, welcome back. Sorry I missed an upload last week, but I was a busy boy, as you can see, and uh, reading the title. I've just come back from South America, where I was filming for five weeks, and that flight coming back was absolutely brutal. I think it took me 39 hours, all the way from southern Argentina, where I come back from um, Antarctica, all the way up to San Diego, up to LA, across to Seoul, down to Bangkok, which is where I'm gonna be for the next few weeks to celebrate Christmas uh, with um, the lovely Miss P before I go back to the UK to visit my family after New Year's and I am excited to share with you this uh, series, this unbelievable next level adventure, trip of a lifetime that I've just gotten back from and I'll be sharing with you at the end of this video a sort of mini trailer, um, the beginning of the first episode which I put together on the long flights coming back. It's still a rough cut, but I'll share with you the whole thing at the end of this video. But I wanted to talk to you about something really cool that really revolutionized this trip. It's the first time I've ever tried something like this out or tested something like this as a product. And uh, it was fantastic. And it was my first experience with an eSIM using Aerolo. You know what it's like when you arrive in a new destination, you get out of the airport, you go through immigration, and you just wanna begin your adventure, but you have to go through the process of looking around, trying to find a SIM card from one of the carriers that they have in the country. Inevitably, there's a few different options and you have to spend 10, 15 minutes looking it up, like which one's the best deal, queue up, then pay, then ask them to take your SIM card out and then give you the, the SIM card that you've just got. They normally just sellotape it to the back of a piece of paper and then you have to stuff that in your wallet and hope you don't lose your sim card from your home country and then you have to sort of just kind of get by with that sim until it's it's you've used up all the data or whatever and it can be a little bit of a stress and this is where Aerolo come in because they reached out to me and they said Paddy have you ever tested have you ever tried an eSIM before and I said no what's an eSIM <laughs> So an eSIM just means embedded SIM and it is a completely digital version of a SIM card. You don't need to buy it, you don't need to tangibly take it and put it into your phone. It's also important to make sure that you look up, and I'll link it below in the description, that your phone is capable to install an eSIM because not every phone is, but most modern phones are. I had a look at the list and again it's in the description. Pretty much any modern phone is there and there's a few tablets as well, there's a few laptops that are available. You can just use your eSIM package on your phone to hotspot yourself. Aerolo are like a store where they show you 200 plus different carriers from countries all around the world. The idea is before you go on a trip, you search on Aerolo for the country that you're going to and then they provide you with different carriers, different plans, different options and then you choose the one that fits your trip and then you pre-buy it, you can pre-install it and have it all ready to go so that when you land all you have to do is toggle a few things in your settings and the second you land and basically even on the runway you could connect to the mobile network in that country and then you're good to go for the plan that you've bought for the amount of days or the amount of gigabytes or whatever the plan might be and so I was like oh that's gonna be really useful like a travel hack basically to get around that frustrating tangible sim card situation as well as really expensive data roaming prices I don't know about you but recently when I was in Sri Lanka I ran out of data that I bought at the SIM card at the airport and I was halfway through watching Newcastle, I was streaming the match in a hotel, second half my data ran out, <sighs> so I just switched it to my, you know, my home country and I went data roaming thinking that it won't be that expensive and when I got home even though I'd only streamed for about 45 minutes, I ended up getting a bill of like $80. You think it won't be that expensive, but it ends up being an arm and a leg, because these carriers have got you like this. <laughs> We're gonna charge you. 
But with Aerolo, you can just get rid of all these stresses before you go on your trip or like me, when I got there because I didn't install the eSIM in time but by the time I arrived in Chile I sat down in my hotel and went through the process of installing it I'll show you how easy it was okay welcome to my humble abode here in Chile now first things first I'm going to set up my eSIM with Aerolo now obviously I need to connect to the Wi-Fi here at this guest house because the installation process needs a secure Wi-Fi connection, which is fine, and that's what I've got right now. So let's just um, open up the app. Um, takes a t couple of seconds to download the app, and uh, you can just link it and create an account instantly, as long as you've got a Gmail account. It was really easy. Here I am, I'm at the menu. It says, hello, Patrick. Now I can choose straight away. There's a list of popular countries. And I can see Chile right there in alphabetical order, thank you. I'm only here for five days, but here on Chile, um, they've only got three. Under just data, they've got one package, but under data calls and text messages, they've got another two. Luckily, the only SIM package um, that's data only is five days long, so that's perfect. Seven gigabytes as well, which is uh, more than I need. So since that's the only package available and suits me down to the ground, let's just go ahead and buy it now. You can see that it comes from this carrier called AltoQ or AltoKe. <laughs> I'm not quite sure um, what that company's called, but they give me seven gigabytes over five days and it's $11. But it's not $11 because I have a discount code which you can use as well, so happy days. And we're gonna go to the secure checkout page and I can choose my payment method. I can choose debit card or credit card, PayPal or Alipay, perfect. Um, but before I pay, I'm gonna apply my code, which you can do as well. This is for any SIM package you want to do for any country you're going to. Um, just type in PADDY3 in capital letters and you'll get $3 off your SIM. So instead of being $11, it's now gonna only cost me $8, so happy days. Okay, so now that the eSIM has been installed, it's now time to access my data plan. And what's great is there's this little button here called show step-by-step -step guide. So it's actually showing you through animations and instructions how to navigate your phone settings. Cause look, this is not a tech review YouTube channel. I'm not a phone gadget gadget guy. <laughs> I don't even know what a gadget is. Um, so this is really helpful. So. Um, I missed that. Let me go back and see what I have to do. Just give me a minute. I'll finish doing this little tutorial. I think I've done it. The only way to test this is to go to good old YouTube, click home, and see if it loads up. Voila! So yeah, as you can see, it was pretty straightforward. And the only thing that I needed, as I mentioned, for the installation process was a secure Wi-Fi connection, which is actually another reason why it's really good to get an eSIM, because you don't have to deal with having to try and find Wi-Fi connections in public. And then, so that was me for Chile for about five days, and it was fantastic. Didn't use any of my, didn't use the whole data, I should say. And then I nipped over to Argentina. Okay, now that I'm here at the airport, it's time to activate my SIM. Now, I actually did a bit of forward planning and uh, I pre-bought my eSIM using Aerolo's website back in Chile. And I had a look, they don't have as many options as they did in Chile, and the deal that they found uh, or they present here on the app is not as good as in Chile, but it's, it's, it's fine for what I need. I, I'm not here for 30 days, there's an option for 30 days, but I'm only here for a week before I go to Antarctica. So seven days, there's a package for seven days, that's gonna be fine. Um, two gigabytes of data, which is okay, and it's $15, but of course, using my code, PADDY3, I get $3 off, so yeah, $12, not too bad for a week's worth of coverage. I think the main benefits that I found having this eSIM when I was traveling was just the usual things that we as international travelers use on a daily basis, things like Google Maps, downloading maps offline, which is really important, so that if you do go in the countryside or you're hiking in the mountains and you don't have signal, you've already downloaded the apps on maps.me or Google Maps, things like that. Obviously WhatsApp, messaging websites and, and applications because, you know, I just got data only, so I'm not really able to receive or send SMS or phone calls, but let's be real, no one ever phones anyone anymore. I don't ever use my SMS, <laughs> even though I have a plan here, I never use it. 
Um, I'm always just on WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, things like that. And so having that data just means that no matter if I was on a long, boring bus crossing the desert to get from one town to the other, or if I was at an incredible iceberg or glacier and I was taking pictures and I was like, you know, desperate to share it immediately, then I could do that using the data. So yeah, overall, I was really impressed with the eSIM packages in Chile and Argentina. I would have liked a little bit more variety, but those two countries were a little bit lacking, but I just want to point out to a few of my subscribers, I know a lot of you are probably coming to Thailand soon, well they've got incredible packages. I'm just going to look it up again because I was blown away by what they have. So yeah, I can see they've got two packages with DTAC, which is a really good network here in Thailand, and they've got one package which is 50 gigabytes and it's only $10 or less than $10 um, and that's without my discount code so that's extremely good value but you can get unlimited coverage, unlimited data, unlimited calls for 15 days for 20 US dollars. Again you get a discount if you use my code so unlimited data in Thailand for a two-week trip that's going to suit a lot of you guys. I'm also just going to quickly look because I'm off to the UK. Yeah, they've got a lot more options in the UK, which is good. And I can see one for less than $10. That's going to suit me for my trip home. Also, guys, if you're going to the US over Christmas and you're going to go see family and you need an eSIM, um, <laughs> they've got a lot of options as well. So thank you so much to Aerolo for introducing me to the world of eSIMs and asking me to review and test it out. It was a pleasure to work with you guys. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And I'll be using your eSIM website to continue my travels into 2024 and to continue getting data packages and things like that so I can just travel with ease and make it a lot more stress-free. And as promised at the beginning of this video, here is a little teaser to what's coming up next year in January. I'm going to take a couple of weeks off. I am knackered and a little bit burnt out. And before I start the big process of editing everything, I do want to just relax. So expect these videos to come out in January. I'm really excited to upload that series very soon. And I'll see you in a Q&A video in a couple of days. For the next five weeks, I'm going to be traveling across South America and Antarctica. Starting in Chile, I'll be exploring the capital city of Santiago, as well as the gorgeous coastline on the west coast. This might look like the Caribbean, but it is freezing. Then later in this series, I'll be heading over to Argentina to discover its incredible waterfalls, its vibrant cities, and the wonders of Patagonia. And finally, I'll be going on a 10-day expedition to Antarctica to visit one of the world's most remote but awe-inspiring destinations this gorgeous planet has to offer. There's a baby humpback whale circling our boat. So, if you want to relax and experience something a little bit different, subscribe to the channel and let's begin our adventures in South America by exploring our first destination of this trip, Chile.